everybody and welcome back to Tea Dates with Lily. I am your host Lillian Ari. Our guest for today is a fashion stylist who loves to read. She's also a K-drama fan and her name is Miriam Ari. And today we don't have a specific topic but Miriam is going to be answering some questions and I really hope he gets her talking. Anyways, let's get into the tea. Guys, so today my sister and I are going to be making chin chin. We have never made chin chin in our lives and I think we're the only people in this country that don't know how to make chin chin. But anyways, so we're going to make it today and come along with us. Come along with us. Let's see how this goes. We have our ingredients here. We have our flour, our flour. Our nutmeg, our butter, butter, that's how we call it in England, where I'm from. I'm not from Nigeria, actually. We have our sugar, that's sugar. We have our salt here, because this is how we keep salt in our house. We have our, there's milk and egg, then we have a second can of milk and egg, just to, just in case. Then we have our vanilla essence, essence yeah. And we also have our baking, baking powder. So, on to the recipe. Like we said, we've never made anything before. Yeah. Chin chin. Yeah. We did it. So, yeah. You know. Please refrain from being overcritical. Yeah. <laughs> Combine flour, baking powder, and sugar in a bowl. Slice in margarine and mix until well incorporated. It should look like breadcrumbs, okay? Crack in egg mix, gently add water into the flour mix until you have a slightly stretchy one of sticky dough. Then roll out the dough on a flat surface, cut into desired shapes. Set the oil on medium heat, wait until the oil is hot, fry the shape dough, a batch at a time until going around. Okay guys, we're ready for you. We're ready for you, we're about to start. Next so the first thing. I'm the old dictionary as well. <laughs> you guys, this is how my sister always believes me. So this is just like a typical example of our relationship. I'm the sweet one and then she's just like very harsh and all. But anyways, one cup of flour, two cup of flour, three cup of flour, four cups of flour, a pinch of nutmeg, one teaspoon of baking powder, salt, half teaspoon, sugar is the last, one cup. You can add a bit more. <laughs> okay, this is... This recipe is for 8 cups of flour, so there's no how we can use 1 cup of sugar. Uh, okay, what do you mean by air? Eh? Just. <laughs> be sweet, don't worry. Small more. Small more. Just stay in the place. Small more. Jara. 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 Okay, so question number one How many kids do you want to have? Who told you I want to have kids? Mommy, can you hear her? <laughs> That's all I have to say. Yeah. Uh, Please, how many kids do you have? Your mother kids was eight, are a societal construct. You know, society has made you people believe that oh, you must have children. I don't know how you must not have children. That is true, Sha. But you, uh, you actually must not have children if you want to. To be honest, yeah. But do you want to? I don't. Maybe. If you are going to have children, how many are you going to have? Uh, probably three. Why? That's a lot for somebody who says, oh, I don't want to have Exactly, children. like, people that say they don't want to have children, high size, they have like two. Yeah, yeah the, but like, I like, feel like three is definitely the highest, I think. Yeah. School fees. Feeding. That's a lot though. Beginning. Like they are your responsibility, and that's one thing that I I really hope uh, new generation parents know. Don't just bring a child into this world and suffer them. Like, be intentional about parenting. Honestly, yeah, too many broken people out. <laughs> exactly, out. we don't need because... more broken people in this world. So, next question: What's one moment in college or high school that you never want to relive? Okay, <clears throat> so. I don't think I've ever actually told anyone this story before because it was it was lost in my memory somewhere. I just remembered it not that long ago actually. Okay. So I was in just three, I think. 
and you know then that period after like just three exams there's no really much to do in school but our own school they don't allow you to go home you have to still stay they just want to be seeing your face around so one evening during that time is, is usually that time that time period is usually like prep time but we're not having prep so and there was no lights mm -hmm. so we're just like running around and making playing noise. and making noise mm -hmm. all this kind you know yeah catching fun and stuff and then i was running on the corridor and i bumped into somebody mm. and she started like screaming and shouting in pain mm. and she like i was like oh what happened what happened what happened and she was like um pin that she was she was saying pin 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 and i was like pin what does that mean mm -hmm. like a pin like pin entered her stomach and in my head i was like what the hell like, what who has pin in their pockets just all we really need so so you must keep it <laughs> so I, I was like Okay, if it's a uh, but at the same time I wasn't there. I was like, okay, if it's a pin, small, right? You yeah. can just get it out. And stuff. So I was like, I felt for it, yeah. but it felt it didn't feel like a pin because you know a pin is just like so really tiny. Mm -hmm. But it felt like thicker than that. So I was like, could it be a needle mm. in her stomach? Yeah, in her it stomach. had already entered inside, mm -hmm. and you couldn't see like the rest of it. It oh. was dark. Oh shit. You know there was no light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I felt I was like maybe it's a needle. Mm. Okay, people started got started, you know, coming yeah, around right. and we're like, okay, maybe we need to take her to the sick bay and stuff. Mm. So as I was feeling the iron, my hand now got to a place that was like if that was flat. Like a flat surface. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ah, why is this place flat? Is it a needle? And it turns out when she was saying pin, 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 is knitting pin. You know that. Well, right. As technically, it's a crochet pin. Okay, but crochet. You, but yeah, we call it knitting. Yeah, you know yes, that one yeah. that you we thread out because that was the period where everybody was like really into yeah, knitting yeah. and stuff. So she had like a knitting pin in her pocket, in the pocket of her chair, and she was and we were all playing and running around and when we bumped into each other, it so it pierced her stomach. So, how did you get it out? The, we didn't get it out. We took her to the sick bay. Then it was it was evening now. You know, like prep time, maybe like around eight or nine. Mm. We had to call her parents that night. Wow! And they took her to the hospital. So it was really it was terrifying. I can't imagine how terrified she herself would have been. But on my own part, I was also scared because I was like, oh my god, they're going to expel me. Like, yeah. Oh my god, I killed somebody. That kind of like, yeah. oh my god, my life is over kind of thing. You know. I was, my head was all over the place. I couldn't even sleep. That's when actually I, scary. <coughs> really like, scary. I can't, I can't imagine it. When I went back to the hostel, I didn't sleep in my bed. I don't know how, you know, normally matrons go around to check. I don't know how they didn't know that I was in my bed. Mm. You know that, you know how that, um, how that um, an icon hostel is that they have back corridor. Mm -hmm. I went to go and hide throughout the night. Only one person knew that that was where I was mm -hmm. because I was so scared to come out. Were you hiding so that they don't come and catch you? So I don't know what was going through I my head, but like, how old was I then? What class were you? I was in just three. Oh, wow. I was so, like, I was just terrified. So the next morning, we heard that she was okay, thank God. But in my mind, I, my mind, when I heard that she was okay, I was like, okay, thank God. But I was still like, oh, they are definitely going to come for me. Like they will definitely come to find out who, who was responsible yeah. and stuff like that. But somehow, somehow, nobody came. What are you doing? I just want to open the milk. He doesn't want to open it. Just <laughs> knife. Okay. Okay. Let me get a knife. They paid they paid money for us to pay them. Yeah? Which knife guy is this one? No, mm, this is the other one. The shop. This one. Mm. So what do you see? So anyway, the next morning nobody came to find out. 
Thank you. Um, and it was just a few days to vacation. Like I said, we were already done with our exams and stuff. So that was how it was until we went home. Yeah. Like maybe two days later. Mm. And that was it. Nobody ever came to find out oh like what happened, who bumped into her or anything like mm. that. But she it's didn't come back the next term. Oh I think her parents moved out to some other school. It's possible she didn't even want to make it sound like someone caused it. Because I'm sure if she had told her She parents, may not even have been fully aware of who it was. Yeah, but like exactly. I said it was that it was, was that no that. Yeah. yeah. And she might have just said it more like, oh, we're just running and I hit someone and it, you get that type of thing. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't sound like it's the person's fault. Because at the end of the day, it's not your fault too. It's not your fault. <laughs> Jesus. But oh, that's like actually traumatizing because it's like, ah, did I kiss somebody? Was I about it to is, kiss somebody? But, but the mind is a funny thing. It's, mm -hmm. It can like, it can take away certain memories so you are not you know, yeah. hounded by them and stuff like that. So there are some things mm -hmm. that when I remember I'm like, oh wow, yeah, that actually happened. That happened, I guess you. So do you think we are closer now or when we were younger? When we were younger, you were like a baby you now. Yeah. Don't like normal children closely closeness. Okay, well like maybe like teenage age. Probably now. Mm. Yes. I didn't really like you. She has said it. <laughs> <laughs> like you're my sister and I care about you, but like I don't really like you, like you, you know, that okay. kind So it is well. Me and my sister. <laughs> I think we've we've actually been like on a swing ish somehow because like when we were let's say like when I was still in primary school and maybe she had entered like just one or so we're still very close that time that time we used to do twinning twin or clothes everything <laughs> everything we're best friends though then I think by like the time that I entered secondary school and she had gone to university that time we're very distant because. From my own perspective, now I wasn't talking to her as much as before because I felt like, ah, she's my older sister. I cannot come and be telling her that, oh, I have a crush on one boy or this one. That. <laughs> like, you get what those are stupid, stupid secondary school gist, you get. I always felt like I couldn't tell her, like, she's older and everything, you get. So, we, we kind of became like this. And then, even up until when I was in university, by then she had already finished and all. I still felt that same way because I felt like I couldn't tell her about you know relationships and you know all these conversations that get you really talking now. So yeah, there was just that um, distance between us. But then around like 2020, that was when I was finishing school. Corona, when we came home, that was when we started talking very well again. And then you know, now she loves me again because I mean, she loves me. She just doesn't like to see it. It's just she loves me. I, I, see, I remember one time uh, when one time it's that I don't know what happened and mom was like complaining and stuff and I was like she's my sister she's not my friend. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> hey, do you know that that thing is very hurtful because like I know we're sisters and all but then at the same time I still take you as my friend. Yeah, but we're I'm not. not is like. A relationship has become better, mm. like compared mm -hmm. to that situation. Yeah. Cause even just the same way you felt like you couldn't talk to me, I'm sure there were. Though I also had stuff going on in my life that I wouldn't have been able to talk yeah. to you about. So, let me get what. Uh, what do you think has changed the most about me? Yeah. You know they get sense, small, small. Mm -hmm. I always had well, sense. small. <laughs> hey, what do you mean by that? Like, let's, let's talk about it. For those some days, it's still really get sense. So. It's just because she's my sister and I still finish. Because <laughs> me now, I was like, the people watching this scene, they know that I get sense. Die. <laughs> what I mean by you know they get sense, like, 
you've sort of become a bit more mature. So like probably things that would have been an issue are less of an issue because you have a better understanding. Yeah. Why are you mature? <laughs> anyway, so for me, about my sister, I'll say she's um more water. This water really poor like this. Don't I make a cow as chin she do. It's no it's no cut. <laughs> my sister has become more like more open to doing stuff and um yeah, it's a good thing. I don't know how to explain it very well, but like, you you know, you just see, like you see somebody that really wants to do something and like you just notice that, okay, this person is actually being more open to trying new things, to going out, to all of that. So yeah, that's, that's my sister. Because before, she used to be very reserved and quiet and boring, like a boring girl. I'm not bored. But, <laughs> but yeah, now she's more open and all of that. Just a homebody. Homebody. Me and Maya are outside body. Yes, no. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I don't even go out. Like, people that know me in real life, they used to beg me to come out. I just go out. It's just... I just talk to a lot of people somehow. Ish. But yeah. Is this good doing? I think so. Let me take a video of what I'm doing. Get it? <laughs> I'm so funny, I'm so funny, I'm funny. <laughs> like, we are me. <laughs> Love. Just directly, you don't mix it or anything. No. It's just in mix now. Me, I don't mix. They say add egg. <laughs> they don't tell us how to add the egg. <laughs> My dear, anyhow, we add it. Ah, this shell should not enter. Okay, it didn't. It's time for us to roll our dough. Wait, my sister, do you have rolling pin? But how would I know that I'm supposed to buy rolling pin? I've never made it in before. But like, <laughs> I want to. It's me that wants to buy the ingredients, guys. Like the flour. You don't have to like tell anybody our secret. This was between us. Okay, I roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. It's not the thing. It's not the thing. Let me ask Google. What do you mean by that? So what I said now does not make sense. No, it makes sense. I'm talking in English. Get a bottle, wrap it with cling film, and like use it. So, we're gonna do that. See, life is about DIY, life is about improvisation. You cannot because this thing now that I'm able to take, let me get some of my motivational speaker glasses. This thing now that I'm telling you about, like in life, you cannot just stay because oh, you don't have rolling pins, so now you give up. Ah, uh -uh, no, no, you must find a solution. So, what do we have in common? Do we have anything in common? Yes, now we have some things. Like what? <laughs> like the fact that we're both beautiful. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. You guys, it's doing. He's doing, like, <laughs> he's doing. <laughs> I can't believe this. We're making chinching. You see. Ah. Oh my gosh. Guys. You see, anything is possible if you put your mind to it. And if you don't give up. If you can look up, you can get up. If you put your mind to it, anything is possible. Ah. Okay. Next question is in what area are we exactly opposite? Or like, are we opposite? I think we can start rolling this now. See, it has all the right extra. Huh? I think you're definitely more outgoing than me. Yeah. Although we both have, I think we both have this sort of like resting face yeah. where people think you're unapproachable. Yeah, so we're nice people. But yeah, we right. really are. Honestly, we're very nice and friendly. <laughs> okay, I think. Do you think we should put like more? Okay, no. no. So, but you're definitely more like outgoing than me. And, um, what else? 
I don't know. I think that's like the most mm. prominent one, really. Because yeah. it's just the. And even myself, it's not like I'm house going like that. Because I don't like people. No, I like people. It's not genuine, this one. You have to. You have to need it before. We're... Okay. Like this thing. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what they call needing. Wow. Spend me. I need you. <laughs> you need me. <laughs> I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I love you. I need you to survive. It took too long. Oh my god, you put us too big. Is this is this what you used to? So many people have like cutting and like oh, other instruments. instruments. Honestly, so, but yeah. So we're done cutting now. Time to fry. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Why are you running? Okay, so well. So, well, it's frying. I'm gonna ask you five questions, quick questions. You have to pick between the two, and um, yeah, cook or Fanta? Fanta. Why Fanta? Cause so, like it's colorful, it's pretty. Okay. <laughs> Instagram or Twitter? Insta. Twitter is. Twitter is not for everybody that people. comes on here. Let's feel like oh, they are not violent. Oh please. <laughs> you guys are violent. Um, Twitter is ah hmm hmm. You Twitter people hear you that you say they are not seen. I'm not on Twitter, they, so they can't comment. They <laughs> 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 they send to now send them. Uh -huh. <laughs> nice of you. Anyways, movies or series? Series. Why series though? Cause with movies like I get the appeal of movies like okay it's one hour or two hours something you're done mm -hmm. but like with series I feel like you get to explore characters more you get mm -hmm. to see them develop and that's true you get to go on a journey with them and yeah. see how they transform you know and stuff like that so yeah series mm -hmm. okay indoor outdoor we already know the answer <laughs> to this question <laughs> it's, see it's not that I don't like outside. It's just that you can't just go on the show. You, you can't just, just like, oh. you can't just go and sit down outside. At least, okay, if if you're going, if there's an activity, let's say yeah. you're going like bowling or going, you know, out for it, like a painting stuff. All those sit and sit and paint. What they call it? Yeah, sit and paint. Or you're going kayaking. Like if there's an activity, then yeah, but not just like going out for going out. Like. Tea or coffee. <laughs> Which is it? Like, pick a side. Tea. Why tea? Uh, less caffeine, I guess. It's um, not, yeah, caffeine is quite unhealthy. Once in a while, I take coffee, though, but tea is preferable. <laughs> okay, guys, anyways, let's go check on our chin chin. <laughs> So guys, we're done, finally done, and this is our chin chin looking as beautiful as ever. <laughs> Could your chin chin ever? No. Let's taste it. Are you ready? <laughs> to be honest. Let's see. Mm. We definitely recommend. Mm. Chef Lily and Mimi. 
with our red wine by the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm joking with Zubu. It's <laughs> Zubu. It's a cold Zubu. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Anyways, guys, so we're done for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like I said, this is my sister Miriam Ari. Very beautiful soul, but wicked at the same time. She drinks a lot of wickedness morning and night. But anyways, now you serve me. Thank you for watching this episode. Bye. Okay, okay, that was that was an interesting one and that was a stressful one also. But anyways, guys, so thank you for watching this episode. And if you liked it, just a reminder, if you want to talk to Lily, you can do that through the email on the screen. And see you next time on TDL.